Okay, we're back. Here's Chef Glenn, and he's from Weaver Street Market. He's also my husband, and he's a resident chef. So he's going to talk some more about strawberries. Hi, Glenn. Hey, what's going on? So we're on our second. Um, we prepped some strawberries. They're in the fridge. Now we're going to make some vinaigrette. This Ooh. is a little spinoff of what I do at work. I'm the chef at Weaver Street Market. So my job is to think of creative ideas and work with the head bread baker, uh, the kitchen manager, pastry chef to come up with new ideas. It's a super fun job. I love it. So <laughs> one idea we had, we had strawberries one season and um, the kitchen chef said, hey, how about a strawberry vinaigrette? And mm. so we came up with one. That sounds uh, good. And I'm going to show you what to do. It's also going to have a little bit of rosemary. You might think, ick, rosemary. No, That's something for like chicken or potatoes. So we're going to add just a little bit to put in there. We have so, that at school. So like I was saying before, we just want to wash uh, our berries uh, right before we use them. Not too long in advance. So luckily for me, I've got some sh cut strawberries here. Great. And what we're going to do is start off with about a cup. Awesome. Uh, maybe let's do just about uh, just about a cup and a half of strawberries. That looks good like that. We're going to do, where's my little strainer here? Okay, it should be a little bit more organized. <laughs> Lots of tools. And, and we're going to do a half a squeeze of lemon. Sure. Kids can do that part. Mm -hmm. They're good at squeezing. All right, I'm going to just set that in there for right now. And uh, I'm going to do, do about a tablespoon of just finely chopped, you can use shallot or onion. Most of the times I cheat just today. I'm just doing a little bit of Give it a onion little there. A little bit there, right? You know, when I cook with kids, sometimes they say they don't like onion, but in the final product, really? they're taking it, yeah. That happens so, a lot because... I'm going to do, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> mustard time. I'm going to put a little bit of mustard and you're going to say, oh, mustard. That's going to have to be cleaned up a little bit. Let's put that in the sink yeah, right there. Yeah, we can do okay. that. That's going to help give a little bit of uh, binding. It's going to help kind of bind things together. I'm going to do some fresh black pepper. That's three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, let's say about about a quarter teaspoon of okay. black pepper. Um, now salt's a taste. I won't give you, we could say about a half a teaspoon. And when you're using sea salt, you use about half that much. Why okay? is that? Because uh, the, the salinity, the saltiness of the salt is actually more in fine sea salt than say kosher salt. Okay. So you'd only use a quarter teaspoon of fine sea salt um, to a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Cool to know. So far you've got strawberries in there, some mustard, some shallot, mm -hmm. pepper, we, salt. Now we need some acid to kind of make it sort of, uh, give it a little bit of tartness. Yeah. And we're going to add, we've got a little bit of lemon in there. Oh, that's right. It gives it a little bit of citrusy, lemon. right? Yeah. And probably go with Measuring um, is a great skill for our kids to have. Right, so yeah. we're right about, oh, about a quarter cup. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and measure out my oil. I'm going to use olive oil. And let's go about three quarters of a cup. And I got this little handy blender here that if you have one of these at home, of course, you're going to ask your parents. You're never going to try and plug one of these in. Parents, if you don't have a little wand like this, uh, a Vitamix, a bar blender, a yeah. uh, food processor, Cuisinart would work just fine. Something that's a power mixer. You would just want to have everything in your bowl like this. Yeah. In this case, you want to have a nice size cup. And what I'm going to do, this is the fun part. I'm going to get ready. <laughs> get ready. Did the get rosemary ready. go in? Get ready. No. The rosemary did not go in. You're talking I, was, about I was testing you. Okay. <laughs> I, so I, I have. Passed. So I have rosemary here. Okay. Now, this is only about a half a teaspoon. You can see that. Yeah. Okay. Yummy. Okay. All right. I'm just going to put that in there and let that chop. 
Um, maybe a couple more. That's a great place where kids could plug in. They could pick the rosemary. They could pick the rosemary, exactly. And they could yeah. help cut strawberries with oh, their parents yeah. watching. Yeah. So I got all that in there. Okay. Almost looks like a smoothie, huh? Yes, yeah, it does. This looks it's nice and smooth there. Now at this point, ideally, mm -hmm. you've got a measuring here, and because this has a spout, I'm going to use that instead. Uh, we know about right? pouring in Montessori, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. pouring is very important because yeah. if it were just a flat edge, it would go sure. all over the place. Okay. So at this point. I'm going to start to pull around the oil. A nice steady stream. What's happening here? It's like kind of a, a smooth kind of kiss. It's almost kind of creamy like now, right? Yeah, yeah. Is that the mustard? And along with the way you're putting right. the oil in? That's right. The, that's... um. The puree, in combination with oil, the molecules from the strawberry bits and the oil are starting to bind together. And that's actually... You mean that creamy? It's suspended within each other, and that's called an emulsification. So, what's on there? This is what it looks like. Oh man, I can't wait to get that on the lettuce. And what I'm gonna do is, again, my hands are nice and clean. Another alternative too, if you wanted to, you could take, uh, make a simple dressing with uh, half an avocado and a combination of strawberry. Mm -hmm. We're actually gonna use this to make a smoothie in a couple minutes. How oh, cool. Um, and you would think avocado and strawberry, but because there's so much natural fat, it has a delicious mouthfeel. It's simply wonderful. So yeah. you could do half to make a smoothie and half to make your dressing in combination. Okay. So when you have your greens, if you like to dress all the greens, or you could just simply, it's you know, take some strawberry here. Oh, for texture and color. And uh huh. Stuff. You can make a little fancy cool. salad. Yeah. Uh, toasted almonds. In this case, I'm we just have hungry. some sliced almonds. Who's yes. making? Who's making dinner tonight? I don't know. <laughs> Stay right there. We're just making videos, that thing. Maybe we can Hopefully share this Hopefully pizza's salad. coming. All right, and all we're going to do, we have this nice mixture like this. Yeah. I'm just going to go Ooh, over. Pretty, pretty. Oh, I like that drizzle. Let me get a little closer to that. All right. And that is an awesome looking salad. And of course, you could put something like goat cheese yeah. or crispy chickpeas on it. <gasps> Um, and this dressing will be good for at least uh, probably four or five days if you kept it refrigerated. That's you just awesome. give a little bit of shade. Greens are coming in on all the local farms and so are the strawberries. So this is perfect, Glenn. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right.